I'm really excited about curating this Risk Lab. Uh, it's it's going to be great. As far as I know, it's unique. The first time that there's been an opportunity in a public space to really explore what risk means. OK, let me show you this. Uh, underneath one of these cups, there's a car, the Star Prize. So could you just point at one of these cups, the ones where you think the car might be? Uh, there. OK, well, uh, I'm going to now lift that up and show it isn't under there. One of them's got a car underneath. Do you want to stick with the one you originally chose, or do you want to switch? I'll, I'll stick with the same one. Yeah, most people do stick with the same one, but in fact, there's not a sensible thing to do. Because it's actually twice as likely that you'll win the car if you switch, rather than if you stick. Risk to me was all about statistics and the mathematics behind it. Um, and you know, and calculating what's the chance and what's the probability. But for other people, the interpretation has been what's the public risk, what's the environmental risk of different things. So I'm enjoying actually moulding the two, the science and the human side of it. We don't mean risk in the sense of health and safety and how you know, anxious you should be about everything. It's much it's exploring all aspects of risk, chance and uncertainty, the good, the upsides of risk and chance, like coincidences and, uh, and winning things. That seems very counterintuitive. Yeah, it does, and people have a lot of trouble with this. There's, there's different ways I could explain it. There's only a one-third chance of you picking the right one straight away. So that must mean there's a two-thirds chance of winning if you switch. I, of course, want to kind of bring it back to the school curriculum, and I want my students to look at it and go, that's what it was in class. Now I see it in real life terms. I've been able to get my hands on this. I've been able to play this, and now I understand the probability behind it. OK, let me think of another way to explain it. I'm going to show what happens if I played it with 10 mugs. So here's lots more mugs. And uh, one of these got a car underneath. And we're going to play the same game. The psychology part of risk is actually very enjoyable because I'm even questioning, well, am I a really risky person? And there's going to be plenty of tests that um, you can engage with. We will be collecting data on people that can be used for genuine scientific experiments. So people are going to, you know, they're going to contribute stuff. We should be measuring people's risk appetite, you know, the, the, whether, you know, they like taking risk, what areas they like doing it, and comparing that with their behavior. Point at one of those mugs. Okay, what I'm going to do now is remove all of these, which don't have the car. Now, <laughs> do you want to change? But now I want, yeah, I would want yeah, to Yeah, now it's really intuitive because there's a 90% chance it's underneath there, which it is. Okay. So you should always switch. Even with three mugs, you should always switch. Always switch. And that doubles your chance of winning. Great.